Hello, my name is William and I am an Internet Data Center and I'll be guiding you through the new Lime Survey platform. And right now I'm going to first show you the front end and walk you through a sample survey that I've created. So go ahead and go to this survey. And I've included a link to the survey in the description for this YouTube video. So this is the beginning and you can go ahead and click next. And one really nice thing about Lime Survey to start off with is that it actually allows you to do bilingual surveys. So for example, you can do Spanish and it actually changes all these different options. I haven't filled them out yet, but this can give you an idea of how powerful Lime Survey is because you can have, you know, multiple languages and it all fills into the same database. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the English version. And so this first one is just a simple fill in the blank. And one really nice feature about Lime Survey is that, for example, you can combine multiple choice with fill in the blank. So, for example, this is really useful if you want to ask for how are you paid, and you can have one option saying by the hour, or you can have another one saying lump sum. And right next to each of them, you can have a fill in the blank. And one thing that you'll notice is that once you click analysis it actually shows up another question and this is an example of the question logic so for example if you only want to show a question if the answer in a certain way for the previous question you can do this and a great part is that they don't actually have to go through another page but rather it actually just automatically pops it up so another really cool thing about Lime Survey is that you can edit the text so for example you can edit the question text or you can edit the answer text in this case I've made Stata a link so right here it pops open to a new window and I've also included an image so this is really powerful if you want to use it you know in terms of branding a question or having a map next to a question and yeah over here in this next question you can see this is a force ranking so for example you have to line up different features and which one's the most important and you can of course um, undo them and then redo it and this is really great if you want to try to figure out like what is the most important features or what are the biggest issues and similar to SurveyMonkey you also have matrices question so in this case you can only fill out one per row and you can also have another option where you can fill out you know, check multiple boxes per row so this is the first page of the survey go ahead and click next and at this point you can notice that there's a percent bar up here and this is just a progress and it shows you how many pages you have left and over here you can click submit and that completes the first part of this and in the next section I'll show you the control panel for Lime Survey